Hi YouTube. As promised, um, I'm doing a quick video on coins that I'm sending in to be graded. Um, I thought it'd be kind of cool. You know, I've always kind of liked these kind of videos. I, I think it's the big reveal that I like. Um, I remember Waff Dog sent in some pandas that um, he sent in for grading, and I've seen a few others as well. So I thought once I get the coins back, I can talk about the process, you know, whether or not it was worth it, that kind of thing. Um, this is my first experience sending coins in to be graded. So, um, and also one of the cool things about doing a video so close to another one is I can address some of the comments real time. So there were some concerns in the comment section that the uh, the Vermont halves were not worth sending in, <clears throat> and uh, you know these were my these are my friend's coins. Uh, this is just something that he had asked. I will pass along the concerns that it may not be worth doing. Um, you know he bought a large coin collection <clears throat> that included. Uh, some Carson Cities in the GSAs, and um, you know he actually did really well. He paid about thirty-five hundred dollars, and that included four Carson Cities in the GSAs from eighteen eighty-one to eighteen eighty-four, a consecutive run. Um, he also, I mean, there's a ton of junk silver. There was also a lot of uh, miscellaneous things, uh, V nickels and uh, some paper currency, and and some stuff that really wasn't worth anything. Susan B. Anthony dollars. Um, you know, uh, bicentennial sets and, and that kind of stuff. So, kind of a really wide, diverse collection. Really, the only thing worth sending in for grading is the Carson Cities and the GSAs. So, I'll, like I said, I'll pass that along. All right, let's get started. So, the, whoop. so the first thing that I'm going to send in is a 1900 New Orleans Mint MS64 Morgan. Um, this has the old green PCGS label. They encourage you to send this stuff in to uh, get regraded because it usually goes higher. Um, this is a beautiful coin. Uh, in 64, it's only a $79 coin. So this is actually a pretty good uh, starter piece for somebody. But in it, if it jumps up one grade, it's $175. If it gets to uh, MS65+, plus, it's $220. If it jumps all the way to 66, it's five and a quarter. Now, it does compare favorably to its MS67 cousin. Um, just looking over the coins, there is a bag mark on the cheek here. And this is a little bit of a cleaner coin, and it should be. It's a 67 with a CAC sticker. But very nice coin. We'll see how this grades out. And I don't think I'm going to send this in, but boy, it's awfully tempting. Um, so this is an 1879 San Francisco Mint Morgan in MS67. And as it is, it's an $850 coin, uh, disregarding the CAC sticker. If it goes up to a 67 plus, it becomes an $1,800 coin. If it makes it all the way to 68, then it's a $5,900 coin. That's uh, pretty remarkable. Beautiful, beautiful coin. Let's take a look at the uh, 98 Libertad. So these were, uh, this is the key date of the series. It's notorious for uh, rubbing on the highest points of the coin. Gee, I'm not sure what could be considered the highest points of this coin. But uh, there's only 13 coins that have graded 68 or 69. And, uh, you know, if this is one of them, well, it really helps the value quite a bit. So this is a nice, clean coin. Um, I will be sending this in to get graded. Not sure what the minimum grade is going to be, though. I haven't decided that yet. I was uh, checking out some sold listings on eBay, and one that was a 67 sold for, uh, I think, $400 or so. You just don't see them pop up. I mean, the populations are just too small, the graded populations. So one thing I noticed earlier is uh, golden toning for some reason does not show up very well on camera. I don't know if it's, I tried to use a black backdrop. Um, I don't know if it's the lighting or what, but um, this is an 1829 um, cat bust half with the cat sticker. And uh, let's see, what does this do? So as is, it's a $650 coin. If uh, If it goes up a notch with the CAC sticker, if it goes up to a uh, 55 plus, it goes up to $700. If it goes all the way to AU58, it becomes an $1,100 coin. So I'm not sure 
If it'll go that far, boy, that would be great, though. But beautiful coin. This has really, really nice golden toning on it. And again, it just simply doesn't show up on camera. I was considering sending this in just to see if it would cross. Um, so this is uh, NGC AU58, the 1834 large date small letters. And this is a beautiful coin as well with more uh, nice golden toning on it. So yeah, the other concern was that uh, <laughs> I need to step up my game because uh, basically pikers buy in a, in almost uncirculated condition. Um, well, look, I mean, I've never been shy about uh, my financial limitations. I'm certainly pushing as hard as I can. Um, and yes, I would love it if I could uh, put together a cat bust uh, collection in mint state is just simply um, not economically feasible for me but I understand that you definitely want to buy the the coin in the best grade that you can typically although one of my subs actually left a really great comment on uh, on how some of the uh, AU grades actually did did well if you spread out um, your investment dollars amongst more AU coins with the thinking being that they're more accessible. So I was actually considering uh, sending this in and seeing if this would cross as well. So I'd like to eventually, you know, it'd be great if I could put together enough of a run of uh, the cat bust to maybe have a, a registry set. Um, the minimum, I'm, I'm not doing anything below AU. Um, I think AU50 would be the absolute minimum, even on some of the tougher coins. I'd simply have to save up for it. I mean, it's just the way it is. Um, one thing that I've been doing is uh, anything that I make from uh, flipping anything, it's it's going into the series. So, all right. So here is an. Well, let's start at the uh, let's start at the beginning here. So this 1881. So you notice that the uh, GSA has come in two flavors, right? Uncirculated and and uh, basically circulated, just a silver dollar. So this is the 1881, which is the key uh, in this little run, the key date. I mean, none of these are really key dates, but so pretty nice coin. Um, let's see. I did see. Where did I see that rim thing? Oh, okay. All right. If you look at the very top there, you can see kind of a nick on the rim. So I'm sure that's going to hurt. And a little bit of bag marks there. But we'll send that in, and they're not going to pop it out of the case. They're going to grade it right in the case. Let's see. 1882. 1882. A little bit better. See a couple of nicks on the rim up there, too. The old CC. Eighty-three. Again, a pretty pronounced bag mark there on the cheek and right by her nose. <coughs> Still beautiful coins. You can do a lot worse than Carson City Morgans. And last but not least, the 1884. This may be the cleanest coin of the bunch. I don't actually look at the values. I'll probably look that up after. So that is everything. There will be a few other things that um, I want to see if they'll cross or NGC graded that um, I'm not really ready to show on YouTube yet. Um, but I'll be sending those in as well. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> That's it. So that's what I'm sending in. So go ahead and put on your, uh, your amateur grading hats and uh, let me know what you think. All right, guys. Talk to you later.